Today, the nation took time to mourn, remember, and honor the victims of 9-11. News Channel 9's Natalie Janareski visited high schools today where younger generations are learning what this day stands for. JROTC students from across our viewing area held ceremonies today in remembrance of the September 11th terror attacks. The first was held here as the sun came up at East Ridge High School at 8.46 a.m. That's the time that the first plane struck the World Trade Center. A small ceremony is held on the front lawn of the school. Well, this year it's not as big because last year was the 10th anniversary, so that's sort of the paradigm we set every 10 years is going to be a big, big deal. But it's still very important each other anniversary. Today is sort of a tragic day, no matter what the year or how far we go because of how many people we lost and the families of the victims. Like, you never know what to do to honor the people who died because you can never give those families their members back. The students raised the flag back to full staff around 1030. That's when the North Tower collapsed to the ground. And it was a slightly larger ceremony here at Red Bank High School as more than 180 JROTC students gathered in the school's gymnasium. I don't think it was positive on country, but I think it brought us together. Those who took part say it's important to remember the people who died that day. Today to me represents freedom along with a memory of the people who fought for our country. Along with those who continue to put their lives on the line to maintain our freedom. We're taught, thinking about all the you know people that died then and since then uh, in you know, the war on terrorism and it's you know just a way to appreciate all the you know soldiers that go out and fight for us because a lot of people don't even think about that and they don't appreciate it all the time and this is a remembrance for that. Natalie Janareski, News Channel 9. The ceremony in Red Bank was shown on televisions throughout the school so that other students could reflect from their classrooms in silence.